A South Florida man has made an eye-popping discovery in the Everglades. This trapper is taking python hunting to a whole new level. CBS 12's Al Pefley reports. Experts believe there may be tens of thousands of pythons in the Florida Everglades. Finding them can be a real challenge, but one man has enlisted the help of man's best friend. All right, we're gonna have to get her, and I wanna try to keep those eggs pretty intact. Mike Kimmel, who lives near Indian Town, was doing what he loves, hunting pythons in the Everglades in the middle of the night when his specially trained dog, Moose, sniffed out a female python sitting on a nest May 30th. Look how big she is. And this YouTube video gives us a glimpse of what happened. It's going to be hard as hell to get her out of here, too. Come on. Kimmel, who's been hunting Burmese pythons in the Everglades for six or seven years, says this is only the second time that he's ever found a female on a nest full of eggs. I'm going to have to grab her head. The female python measured 13 feet long and had a nest containing 49 eggs. To find an active nest with a big female snake on it, I couldn't be happier. Kimmel says he's fortunate to have moose because the dog is very good at sniffing out pythons. These nests are extremely difficult to find and, and I'm sure, very confident, I would not have found it without my dog moose. Kimmel trained moose to find pythons and he believes moose is the only python tracking dog in the state. He feels the state needs to set aside money to train more dogs to sniff out pythons so that more dogs like moose can go to work in the Everglades to rid the area of Burmese pythons. Before, for, for me to find a nest, I, I'd spend and months and months out there hunting nonstop. And now that I have this dog that'll help me find these snakes, find these nests, it's a, it's a total game changer. With the help of Moose, um, I've found probably close to 30 snakes now. Um, he's been pretty successful almost every time we go out. Before the end of the year, Kimmel has plans to train five more dogs to hunt pythons, so he'll have others to replace Moose once Moose's snake hunting days are over. Near Indian Town, Al Pefley, CBS 12 News. It's not for everyone, but just a reminder, registration is open for this year's Python, Python Challenge. The week-long event lets people hunt those Burmese pythons in the Everglades as a way of removing the invasive species. Last year, participants captured close to 200 of those snakes. Competition runs from August the 5th until August the 14th. A Royal Palm Beach community demands answers tonight after Palm Beach County deputies shot and killed a black bear spotted roaming in a neighborhood for hours over the weekend. But Florida Fish and Wildlife officials tell us a different story. They were working to let the bear go. CBS 12's Lily Ortiz has more on that. Yeah, many are pretty upset with the outcome here. They say that this black bear was not a threat to those living here at the Saratoga Lakes subdivision neighborhood, and they just want to know why a tranquilizer wasn't used to safely move it to a 700 acre natural preserve that's just blocks away from here. A six foot over 300 pound black bear caused quite a stir in Royal Palm Beach Saturday morning before things took a turn. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office says they were forced to kill it following an hours long standoff. These images show the black bear spotted first on a tree behind the Loretto family's home on Belmont Drive around 8 a.m. The homeowner, a mother of small children, including a toddler, says her biggest concern was to warn her children and nearby neighbors to stay inside. While he was back there, PBSO was like monitoring so they could keep eyes on him and they had called Florida Fish and Wildlife right away. The sheriff's office says they waited with Florida Fish and Wildlife officers for a bear trapper to arrive and tranquilize it. Yet FWC tells CBS 12 News a different story. The state did not send trappers because highly trained bear experts on scene had a particular course of action to complete, and that was to let the bear move off on its own. The bear eventually roamed a few blocks north in the 900 block of Crestwood Boulevard near H.L. Johnson Elementary School. After several attempts to keep the bear in a tree for hours, PBSO says the bear eventually came down and deputies used their shotguns, killing it for safety reasons. Neighbor but Maria now, Young is not convinced. We want some answers why it was necessary to kill a helpless bear that was up in a tree. That was no threat at that time. We have Lion Country Safari, you have FWC, you have Palm Beach Zoo, you have many vets out here. Why could they not find a dart to go ahead and tranquilize them with? It doesn't make any sense to me. We asked FWC officials how long it takes to get a tranquilizer to locations like this. They answered with, in their 5,000 to 6,000 bear-related calls a year statewide, they rarely use tranquilizers. 
They say trappers are readily available, but in this case, their best course of action was to let the bear leave the area on its own. For Young, she's devastated it didn't happen the way they had planned. Living up in a community up in North Florida with bears that roamed all day long, we had to call somebody. I never saw one killed. If they had to tranquilize them, they tranquilized them. I want to know because it's animal cruelty. And FWC is currently investigating this incident, but they do say during bear encounters, residents should feed their pets indoors and never leave trash outdoors overnight.